Welcome back to a brand new episode of Itchy Soul Life. Thank you for joining me. I am your host, Ella Edwards. I'm super excited that you are here. Now, this episode is the episode that almost wasn't. We're looking at the time running slightly late. For those of you who do watch it live or kind of live-ish podcast listeners, you're cool because you just listen to it whenever, which is great. Now, today's episode is inspired by, the, by those days Well, follows on from yesterday, really. So yesterday we talked about the fact that there will be days when you don't really want to, when you go by on bare minimum, and how it's okay to have those days. Any season, I would advocate for under-scheduling and being kind to yourself, but for no season more than this one we're in right now. However, there will come a point today, tomorrow, next week, three weeks' time, where you you start to adjust to this new kind of normal. And we don't know how long this season is going to be for, but we do over time start to adjust. And you start to think, well, there are some things niggling at me, which incidentally is why I believe God had me rewrite. I'm going to find the link for you. Had me rewrite um, and rework and revisit um, my UEA goal setting. By the way, I should say as well, if anybody gets a little bit like, ah, around that phrase goal setting, be, be encouraged. I understand. I am somebody who every December would write these goals and would never get them done and then get frustrated. And it was, oh, things changed for me. And I'm not going to give you, you know, the story of what is it. That story's in the book. So I'm not going to repeat that story there. But what I, what I would say is don't get hung up on semantics. So if things are starting to niggle at you, incidentally, podcast listeners, itchysoul.co forward slash books is where you can get a copy of your goal setting. Kobo, uh, Amazon and um, Apple as well. But there's a reason why you know why god had me rewrite and revisit and and refresh that manuscript and get it ready for this time because i do believe god there will be niggles things that start to niggle at you so today we're thinking about well what do you do when you balance that oh there's this thing that god's you know calling me to do versus oh yeah but i'm just really tired and i had one of those days yesterday and if you if you followed along you will have heard me share the fact that Yesterday, it was all about just showing up, doing what you could do, and then going out in the garden and enjoying the sunshine, which incidentally is back. It's even sunnier today than it was yesterday, which is really exciting. I live in Wales. Some of you know that already. But for those of you who don't aren't familiar with our our weather, that that stereotype about raining, yeah, there's a reason why our grass is so green, (laughs) just say, but not the moment. It's very, very sunny and delightful. Today, as I was sort of sitting this morning with God, I was reminded of that verse from Hebrews chapter 2, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, where it talks about fixing our eyes on Jesus. I'm going to read it to you. So it says, as for us, we have this large crowd of crowd of witnesses round us. So then let us rid ourselves of everything that gets in the way and of the sin which holds on to us so tightly. And let us run with determination the race that lies before us. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. He did not give up because of the cross. On the contrary, because of the joy that was waiting for him, he thought nothing of the disgrace of dying on the cross. And he is now seated at the right right hand side of God's throne. And it's no small coincidence, I believe it. Tomorrow, at the time of recording this, is Good Friday. You know, that time, we don't know exactly what date, and Easter moves every year, of course, but it is that time of year when we remember Jesus dying on the cross. But then, coming back to life, the resurrection on Sunday. And so the reminder I got this morning as I was sitting with this with God is actually those days when you're feeling like God is niggling you to do something, that, that this podcast and these these lives are an example of that. Yesterday, I knew God had instigated this thing. Share, share whatever I share with you on a near daily basis. And we were only like two days in and I was tired. I'm like, oh, really? And God said, well, just, just do what you can do. And that's the reminder I would share with you today is two things. Thing number one, just do what you can. And please don't ever underestimate the difference that you can make simply by showing up and being you and being real. There's a reason why I believe we are doing this, this new season of the podcast in this particular format. It's live. There's going to be times where probably the dogs will bark. There'll be noise. Everybody's home at the moment. This is about showing up and doing real life. And we need that. And my hope is that will give you some encouragement. But in the same way that you are encouraged when I do that with you, other people around you will be encouraged when you show up and you just be you and be real. Whether you're having a wonderful day or having a difficult day or an in-between day, being real about how you are feeling is amazing. And so I want to encourage you to keep on doing that. The very best thing we can do is, is be 
ourselves. You know, that's that's you here in, in a nutshell, isn't it? You're made to be you. But the other piece of encouragement is from that verse. When you're really like, oh, you know, turn to Jesus. Say to God, look, I'm really struggling. I know there's this thing niggling at me. Please give me the strength to do this thing that you want me to do. I often talk about the fact that I personally believe that as long as you are showing up, being you full to the top with God's love and just being out there in the world, the specifics of what, what you actually do is largely irrelevant. It's about relationship. It's about you and him doing life together on the brilliant days, on the difficult days, on the brilliant moment in difficult days and the difficult moment in brilliant days and all the times in between as well. And so that's the reminder I had this morning, which I wanted to by extension then share with you. Hebrews 12 verse 2. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Ultimately, that's where you can be putting your attention when you don't want to. Now, as I reminded you yesterday, there are going to be times when you need, well, not not just times, you need to be paying attention to your energy levels. So if today is one of those days where you've, oh, you're tired, don't, I'm not here to advocate that you push through. I don't believe for one minute that God is saying, okay, fix your eyes on Jesus and then push through and do all of the things. That's not what it's about. Please don't misunderstand me. If that's what you're hearing, hear again. You better listen to this again on replay, on the podcast. Listen again. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you fix your eyes on Jesus and there's something about being in connection. That relationship can help lift you. And when there are things that God's niggling you to do, give you that extra sort of oomph to do it. Like I did yesterday. I, you know, I was quite candid with you. Literally, actually, that's not true. Literally, not literally. I was going to say literally the only thing I did yesterday was share these episodes. That's not true. I did a few other bits and pieces as well. But it was very much a bare minimum kind of day. But I knew God was niggling me to do it. And so that's how I went out and did it. And so that's my reminder and my encouragement to you. I do hope, though, that today is a lovely day for you. And remember, if you're having a lovely day, enjoy those feelings. I know there's so much going on in the world right now. And there are people who are really struggling. But you feeling guilty for not being struggling right now today doesn't make the world any less difficult. So if you're having a good day, enjoy it. Show up, shine, be you, be delightful, be lovely. And if you're having a more difficult day, know that you are not alone. There are other people who are having difficult days too, but more than that, I am here for you. You have people you can reach out to. I would encourage you to do that. Oh, my last reminder, this just popped in my head. You know how sometimes we talk about how, um, you know, if it, and we talk about this a lot, particularly when there's like high profile suicides. We talk about the fact that, oh, it's important if you're struggling and really finding it difficult, you need to reach out to somebody. The reminder that just popped in my head, and so therefore I'm going to share with you, is keep on doing what you're doing in terms of paying attention to those people you care about. Not necessarily just in your household, but you know that habit that you got into of reaching out to people. Don't stop because it makes a difference. You showing up and checking in with people. You might never see the impact that makes, but know that it makes a difference. And I say that because I've had people who've checked in with me and it makes a difference. And I've checked in with other people and it makes a difference. So that's a reminder as well. It's really difficult. If, you, if you're having a, I'm sure you know this for yourself, if you're having a really difficult day, it's really hard then to reach out. But if somebody reaches out to you on those difficult days, you can hopefully at least, you know, grasp the, I'm trying to think of a proper metaphor. I don't have one. So keep doing what you're doing, pay attention to those people around you, particularly on the good days. If you're having a good day, that's a perfect day for you to be reaching out to those people around you who you care about, who you've gotten into the habit of checking in on. Keep doing it because it makes a massive difference. Anyway, thank you for being here today, for allowing me to share this quick little itchy soul live with you. I shall be back tomorrow. The plan is to be back at the regular time of 2 p.m. So podcast listeners, if you ever want to join us live, do remember you can do that on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash itchy soul playground. For those of you who join us on Facebook via the replay, thank you for do doing that as well. I can see we've got one or pe two people who are here live. Thank you. That's really exciting. Um, I shall be back tomorrow. All being well 2 p.m. Although quick housekeeping note, purely for people on Facebook, it is my son's 13th birthday tomorrow. And obviously we're on lockdown, we're not going anywhere. So I imagine I'll be here at two, but if we're engrossed in the middle of a big game of Monopoly or something, um, I probably won't do that on his birthday because it might end in tears. We'll see. But 2 p.m. is the plan. Anyway, thank you for being here. I look forward to catching up with you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Oop, button time. Are you ready? I got it. <gasps>